da? Should I tea? Between da, yeah. Now then, uh, day to day. Oh, I can't believe it's this day again. I've had Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, so today must be Friday. Woo! Again. Can you believe it? Two minutes. Two minutes have gone since Friday. Should my towers. Whew, mine. Boys. It's so warm. Mine. Hi, Log. Ack, mine. Boys. And I hope it stays sunny because I've got a lovely outdoor job for you later. Okay, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. It's an outside job, so we need the sunshine. Okay, let's have a think. So, we're going to do our letter job. You know, it's Friday. We've got to do our letters. Just before we do, I just want to say hello to somebody. I found out the other day that this person is watching my videos and she's enjoying them a lot. So, I want to say hello to Penny. Hello, Penny MacArthur. And Daisy, if she's watching. Nice to see you. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Keep watching. Lovely. Okay, letter of the week. Letters, actually, two. One sound, two letters. Remember? K, 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 and k, k, k. Now, why am I doing those actions? Can you remember? I've got the book folded in half because it's falling over a little bit. So we've got the lady with the k, k, castanets. Yeah? There she is in a flamenco dress. K -k castanets we are clicking castanets k -k -k. we are clicking castanets k -k -k. we are clicking castanets clicking castanets we are clicking castanets k -k -k. and then i'm really not sure why there's not a kite in this picture because the other uh, part of that song is for the other way of writing this and that's a kicking cat which starts with which kites starts with so we go Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k -k. Oh, I a bit of a cast on my, on my kite then. Never mind. Let's turn them around and have a look at these letters. Okay, now. I know you've been practicing them in something uh, easy to rub out and nice to use. Um, mention a few of those in a bit. We've had some flour, we've had some uh, oh, water outside on the ground. Love that one. Um, some crispy cereal, talk about that later as well. Different ways to write it, all good. So today's going to be pen and paper writing. Let's have a little practice before we do it on our paper. So, curly k, letter C says k, k, k. Starts at the top. Curve, oh, curve, curves around and stops. Make sure you're going the right way. And kicking a bit harder. We know this, but we can do it. So it goes straight down, bounces back up, makes a loop, and kicks out its foot. That's quite complicated. You've got everything going on there. You've got straight lines, curved lines, flicks. Got it all on that one. But we can do it. Now, some of you already have. Ethan and Rory have already been writing theirs with pens. Um, I've done a sheet that's a bit different today. Because we've got two letters, I've not done two sheets. I thought that'd be quite hard work. So I did three there for you. I made it a bit smaller. Three there for you to go over. Two dotty ones. This is for Curly Car, let's just see. Two where you've just got the start point and you've got to make it look like that. And then some space to do it all by yourself. Yeah. And then just the same for kicking curl, letter K. Three to go over, two dotty ones, two just with the starting points and then room for you to do it all by yourself. There's room at the bottom then for if you're finding either of them tricky just to have an extra go. Or you could practice writing your name there, couldn't you? If you've got them all just fabulous, which I'm sure you will, you could use that to practice writing your name. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. So it's writing day. You also need to make these. Make your sausage letters. Curly cut. Kicking cut. Put them on your wall when you've decorated them. See if you can use them to make some words. Got mine on my metallic board. Now. <laughs> You're going to notice something wrong here. 
Look at Curlica. He's different. When I got my box out to find the letters I needed, I couldn't find a Curly I didn't have one. Which is very upsetting. If I was in nursery, I'd just go to my cupboard. Where, oh, cupboard. C -c cupboard. I go to the cupboard where I keep them and I get another one. Because I'm not in nursery, I can't do that. And I haven't got any more at home. So I've had to make a paper one and stick it on. Which is not ideal, is it? But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll manage. Okay, so let's just remember. So there's Kicking Care. And there's Curly Care. Let's just go back over the ones that we've done before. So this one says... This one says, ah, ah, ah. this one says, t, 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 t. quiet on that one. This one says, e, 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 e. this one says, mm. and that one there says, p, 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 p. let's see if we can break some words now. Okay, come on. Then. So we got curly cut down there. I'm going to use that first. Is that the right way up, Sam? Yeah, good. I can't tell with letter R when I'm upside down. K. Ah. P. Right, let's uh, say the sounds and we'll slide them together. It's called blending. Blending just means mixing together. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do them in the right order. So, K. Ah. P. K. Ah. I'm going to blend them together now. Listen. Cap. Oh, cap. You wear on your head. Cap. We made a word. Right. Let's do another one. Not really. I want to use the kicking for this time. So we're going to have. K. I. 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 And. T. Right. Let's say the sounds. Let me blend them together then. Ready? It, k, it. Let's blend them together now. Kit, oh, kit, it's like PE kit or a football kit. Oh, we made another word now. <laughs> I make some longer ones now. Look at my list. Ah, now then, I brought another one to use. It's another one that we know. It's another. Because this word that I'm going to make now needs two of those so it's going to start with a k, k, k. then we need our I, I, I again but this time get them right way up we need two of these Ooh, i like this word Ooh. ready k, I, Can you tell what word that makes? Let's blend it. Kiss. <gasps> a kiss. We wrote kiss. Whoa, look at that. Words with four letters in now. <gasps> Amazing. Okay, last one. You could do more, but I'm, I'm going to let you get on with it. So this time. And we need both of them. Listen. Sack. They just make a big k when they're both together. You don't have to go k. k. They make a big k together. Sack. Did you hear it? Let's blend it together. Sack. Sack. Like a sack of potatoes or a sack race. Ooh, look at that. So. You use, if you've got magnetic letters, use those. If you haven't, just use your big sausage letters and put them on the floor or on the wall, make words with them. Okay, now, somebody who's already been ma making uh, words with his letters, he's got magnetic letters, is Rory Yates. And I've got a little video to show you now. Are you ready? Have a watch of this. Sat. Good boy. S -a -t. Good boy. What does it say? Says. Good.
look at that well done Rory that's amazing you're starting to make words you're getting to be a writer and a speller all by yourself well done and well done mommy there for giving him just the right amount of encouragement and letting him do it for himself well done now then i said we were going to have an outside job we are because first of all let me tell you in griffith's town we're very lucky there's a few parks but my favorite park is panteg park which is near the end of griffith's town up at the top uh, and it's quite an old park it's been there a long time and um, when i first moved to griffith's town it was beautiful but then it stopped getting looked after the gentleman who worked there didn't work there anymore and it started to get tatty and shabby and people weren't behaving themselves in there but then a couple of years ago a group of people who live in Griffith's Town decided they wanted the park to look nice again. And since then, they've worked so hard. All the time, they're working hard. They put new plants in, they're keeping it tidy and clean. And it's just beautiful. So, we're going to have a job in the park. But first of all, uh, me and Gracie, my Gracie, my big girl, um, we've been to the park and has a look round. so i made some this is not sam making this video of mine this is grace on my phone so don't expect grace great things but let's just have a little look around panteg park so we're in panteg park today we're gonna have a look round and show you a few things and then we're gonna have a special job later okay so in the park lovely lovely trees look at this one how beautiful is that Lots of big trees all over the place. Beautiful. And so many beautiful flowers. Look at these roses. They're so pretty. And a flagpole. Whoa. More beautiful flowers. And some fabulous shady places. A bit mixed. Look at this big tree. Loads of big open spaces to run around. Woo! This is an amazing tree for climbing underneath. Now, if you look carefully, you can see some letters. They've made letters with stones and pebbles, and it says Panteg Park because that's the proper name for this park. Tennis courts. You can play tennis and over there. There's a bowling green. And this is the fish pond. And that's why most people call this park Fish Pond Park. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the fountain. And there's fish living in there. Real fish in the fish pond. And some beautiful lilies as well. Ooh, that water's very green, isn't it? Don't think we should paddle in it, definitely. Right, what do you think of that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's really lovely and it's it's even lovelier when you really go. So, we're going to get you out to the park. Even if you've gone there before, we've got something different to do today because I've made a little treasure hunt, okay? Now, this is not a treasure hunt where you can collect the treasure because you can't, otherwise it won't be there for anybody else. But it's a treasure hunt because you've got to find things and see how many things you can find. And what you're going to be looking for is beautiful butterflies butterflies not real ones there are lots of beautiful real ones so look out for those as well but these are ones that i've made okay would you like to see one okay so there we've got a beautiful painted butterfly now uh i'm going to show you how to make these in a minute because that's one of your jobs as well but first of all, let me tell you that in the park, um, and they're cut out, I've cut out the ones in the park, there are 10 butterflies, all a bit like this, but different colours, um, hidden in Panteg Park. And your job is to go to Panteg Park and see if how many you can see. Now, I don't think you're going to see 10, so don't be disappointed. We hid them quite well, okay? 
we've had to put them high because they didn't want anybody coming along and taking them down so most of them are quite high i'll give you a clue so you've got to look up to find them not all of them but most of them you need to be looking up in the park and there's 10 to find <gasps> good luck with that so i'm not sure if you will but have a go see how many see who can get the most so um that's your job but also your job is to make a butterfly like this and the reason that we was well they're pretty i like butterflies they were nice to hide but these are uh very special butterflies because they're exactly the same on both sides and i'll show you why in a minute they're exactly the same on both sides and there's a special word for that and we need to learn it for our maths are you ready because it's a big long word are you ready when something is exactly the same on both sides we say it's symmetrical it's <gasps> a good word did you say that word ready symmetrical did you do it symmetrical and that just means exactly the same on both sides not a little bit different exactly the same now I've been making these butterflies to put in the park. I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so you're going to have some little pictures and I'll tell you what I did. So we started off with just a piece of card, rectangle card, okay? And I folded it in half. So fold it over until it touches the end and then unfold it again. So you've got two halves with a fold in the middle, yeah? then you need some paint okay so i pinched some posh tubes of hopes and i've also got some bottles so choose a couple of colors and just squeeze some little blobs onto one side not on the other side just one side of your paper okay you're going to be on the other side in a minute just on one side so some different colors just some little bobs not too much first one i did I used too much paint it went everywhere so not too much and it'll still work so when you've done that just put your paint blobs on one side doesn't look like a butterfly yet does it no 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 so what you're going to do now is fold that card back in half so one half of the card comes down on top of the paint don't be scared and then you're going to hold it still with one hand and smooth the shape of butterflies wings you won't be able to see anything at the moment because the paints inside the card but you're smoothing the colors together and you're rubbing it in circles so it's like butterfly wings one at the bottom one at the top little bit in the middle to make his body and then this is the very best best bit when you've uh, when you've rubbed it for quite a while you're going to open it and see now because you've pressed them together when you open them they're going to be the same on both sides so open it slowly and carefully and have a look and you should have a beautiful butterfly and it should be symmetrical it should be the same on both sides have a look at mine look back to me Sam this one's got exactly the same colors in the same pattern on each side and so do all the ones in the park and they've got different colors I have to say this one's not my favourite. I'm not too keen on the colours, but I wanted to try all my colours. But it's okay. The ones in the park, really pretty. So, have a go yourself at making symmetrical butterflies with your paint. Put it on somewhere where it doesn't matter if it squidges out, because it will. I'll tell you now. Um, I'm going to put a link up as well, because I found some other activities to do with symmetry things that are symmetrical and there's some lovely ideas on this um, website so have a look at that also you can have a look around your house see if you can find things that are symmetrical let me see show you what i found so i had a look at my glasses can you see those and they're symmetrical they're exactly the same on both sides except that one's got a bit of dirt on it right get that off now they're symmetrical yeah same on both sides then i'd look round Ooh, clang i found hopi's big capital ha for hope she's got this metal thing in her room 
But look, this is the same on both sides. They've both got a tall piece on each side and a piece that goes across the middle. So that side is just the same as that side. They're symmetrical. But then I got some in and it wasn't. I thought it was going to be. Let me show you. This is Hope's little um, wooden man. He lives upon a shelf. Can you see him? And at first I thought, oh, he's symmetrical. He's got an arm on each side and a leg on each side. And he's the same, but he's not, is he? Look. Why is he not symmetrical? Hmm. His arms are different, aren't they? This arm's pointing up in the air. This one's down. So this side is different to this side. So he's not symmetrical. Perhaps I could make him symmetrical. A little fiddle. It's quite hard because he's got so many bendy parts. That's a bit better. So that might be symmetrical now. Okay. But he wasn't to start with, was he? Not everything is. Lots of things are not symmetrical. Okay, so have a look around and see what you can find. Collect some things. Right, so it's time to go. I would like to say thank you to a couple of people. Now, um, Isla made me uh, a very clever collage. <laughs> clever collage. Uh, it was a bit scary because it's a spider. But he's so cute. Cute, clever collage. And she did him so carefully, look. She didn't just whack everything on with a load of glue. She thought what she needed to do to make it look like a spider. So well done, Isla. That's a very clever collage. And then the other person I wanted to say hello to today and show their work is Ray Raimondo. And Ray has made, she did her writing in crispy, crunchy cereal, which I thought was fab. That was good. I bet it was noisy too. So she did a curly cat and a kicking cat, and uh, I expect she ate it then. So win-win. And I've been getting a little bit worried about Isla. Uh, no, I hadn't. About Raya. Because I'd not seen her for a while. And I thought, oh no, perhaps she stopped doing her jobs. Oh no, that's not good. We've got to get your brains working really hard for ready for reception class. Um, and I did worry because I know you've been doing lots of work with me, but it's really important because I'm helping you keep your brain working, okay, and working hard. If you stop um, doing your jobs, your brain might go to sleep a little bit, and then when you go into reception class, oh my goodness, you're going to find the work too hard. So keep doing your jobs, Raya and everybody else, okay, we're getting ready. Well, I'll be having a rest before you go into reception. You will need a little rest. But keep you doing your jobs for now. And don't forget to send me photographs so I can see what you've been doing. Okay, so that's all for this week. It's been very warm, hasn't it? Um, I know some of your big brothers and sisters might be going back into school next week. Um, because... School's starting to open up again now. They're trying it out. So some children are going to be going back. Not everybody are going to be going back just one day a week and having a little try so they can see their friends, see their teacher. But not nursery children because they're using our classroom for the children who have to go every day because their mummies and daddies work in hospitals and factories and things that we need to keep open. So those children are going every day to what's called the hub and they're going to use nursery for the hub. But don't worry because I'm still going to be doing my videos. I'm not going in either because you're not there. So I'm going to be teaching from home. So we're still going to be doing our videos and you can send me lots of pictures. Is that okay? All right, then. good. Right, have a lovely weekend. I will see you on Monday. Ready for a wave? Yes, ready, go. Bye.